Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this LG G5 and the box looks really, uh, really spartan and nothing much, no specs or anything. This is powered by the Snapdragon 820 chipset and uh, regarding the pricing, the price here quoted on the box is 54,000 uh, but this unit is currently available on Flipkart for 52,990 and it comes with the companion Cam Plus module which is for 6,500 rupees. I'll have the other uh, details in the YouTube show notes so you can check them out. Uh, so I just don't know what is the price for the uh, unit, it, just the unit itself as of now. So let's quickly just open this up and have a look and the biggest thing about this LG G5 is that it's a modular phone uh, we get uh, different modules that LG calls as friends I'll try to cover those modules later on I don't have them yet but uh, this is the handset that we get and this is in the silver color uh, as you can see uh, looks actually nice in person in pics it looks actually a little bit weird but in person I feel it's a little bit different. And again, uh, the, there's a lot of controversy about this. This back is actually uh, metal, uh, but it gives a slight plasticky feel because of the uh, procedure that uh, LG does with the seam. So we'll come back to this handset a bit later. Let's see what else do we get in the uh, box. So it's just some pamphlet and stuff. A quick start guide. Let's just keep that to the side, not needed. Uh, huge power brick really huge i have to say and uh, this is supposed to be qualcomm uh, quick charge 3 certified yes it can output at 9 volts at 1.8 amps uh, so this is a qualcomm 3 certified uh, fast charger that we are uh, getting so that is nice and it has a standard usb port uh, so this will be a usb c type uh, cable let me actually show you because yes this is the usb c type cable that we are getting with this one Generally, LG gives good quality earphones, uh, but this one and looks, I would say, looks ordinary, but again, I have to test. Uh, the cable is a braided cable that we have, and we also have buttons uh, over here to take our call. So let's keep these things to the side and let's look at the handset itself. So here is the handset itself, and it is having that uh, curved, uh, uh, glass gorilla glass gives a good feel we have a plastic cover let's just take this out so this is how the handset looks and we also have a qr code uh, on here and uh, the button placements have been actually changed uh, from earlier lg devices and no longer we actually have uh, the volume rockers uh, over here the volume rockers are on the side so this is the fingerprint scanner that we have and you'll notice that it, this one actually has two cameras uh, because the regular one has a 78 degrees uh, what do you say uh, vision and there is a wide angle lens that is 135 degrees wide uh, so it's a 16 megapixel for the regular one and for the wide vision it's 8 megapixel and moving to the front facing camera uh, it's a 8 megapixel uh, shooter and again it's having a 5.3 inch screen before we proceed let me give you a physical overview uh, on the top we have a second noise cancellation microphone uh, which is a good thing and looks like we also have an IR blaster and this is the uh, 3.5 mm headphone jack on this end we have nothing but just the slots for your uh, sim card and it can also accept uh, what do you say uh, uh, micro SD cards so that's a good thing and on the bottom we have the USB-C type port uh, the opening for uh, the speaker and I think so if you press this button yes this module uh, comes out you yeah, you just press this and this comes out and you can attach the different modules uh, the battery standard battery is a 2003 uh, 2800 milliamp hour battery and you just press it and the module goes back and the power button is actually embedded in this fingerprint scanner so if you just press it uh, it starts booting up and by the time it actually boots up and I set this up, let me give you a configuration overview. This LG G5 is powered by the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 chipset. 
Uh, it is having a 5.3 inch quad HD display, which is an IPS quantum display. It has four gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. It also supports micro SD card. Moving to the camera, it has a 16 megapixel camera and a wide vision 8 megapixel camera. The front facing camera is an 8 megapixel shooter and it also has NFC and it does support Qualcomm quick charging 3 and it comes with Android Marshmallow out of the box. So I have just set up this device and it comes with this new LG UI, which does not actually have any uh, app tray. So it's a little bit different. So they have changed things. And uh, these are the quick toggles and it's already doing some updates. But let's uh, look under the hood. And again, this is the standard LG uh, UI paints. I don't like these paints. So I'll just use the list view. A lot easier, I feel. And let's go to about the device. And if we go to common, and if we go to software info, as you can see, it's coming out of the box with Android version 6.0.1. So we do get Android Marshmallow out of the box. And again, it has virtual buttons, but these are customizable. Let's look at the storage out of that 32 gigabytes. How much do we actually get? And if we go to the storage tab, out of that 32 gigabytes, we get about 23.29 uh, gigabytes. Uh, but this one supports micro SD cards up to uh, two terabytes. Uh, so that is interesting. So that's regarding the storage. And again, the UI has uh, changed a little bit, but it's internals, it's uh, similar to the other UI. And again, this is a dual SIM device. So you can set up uh, call forwarding and stuff like that. And also regarding display, uh, it also has this always on display. So if you put it on standby, uh, you see this display that is there and LG says that this does not consume a lot of power uh, but I have to actually test that and because the battery is just a 2800 milliamp hour battery so it'll be interesting to see how long it lasts with regular usage and we have this fingerprint uh, sensor as I have mentioned uh, within the home button I've already set it up so let me just tap it and see and it unlocked instantly so the fingerprint sensor is really fast uh, we still have that double uh, tap to make it go to sleep. And if you just double tap, yeah, it lasts for the fingerprint. Let me just use that. So those features are still there. And again, it's running on the Snapdragon 820 chipset. So uh, it should be fast and it's doing a lot of updates. So I'll let it do all those updates. We have quick toggles and stuff. You can obviously customize all these quick toggles, NFC or whatever you want. You can put it over here, standard stuff. And you can also customize these virtual buttons. Uh, so that is there. Let's quickly look at the camera because uh, it has that dual camera setup. And location, no, I'll just set that. Let me just take a picture. And it took the picture fast. And it says if you use this, uh, if you press, okay, if we go this, yeah, it goes to the wide vision. Let me take the normal shot. Yeah, this is the wide vision. And uh, let me take a normal one to give you an idea. So, Okay, let's use the gallery app. So this one was uh, with the regular one. Uh, and the, actually the picture looks to be really sharp, guys. Just notice I'm zooming in. And this one was the wide version. And as you can see, it does capture a lot. Uh, this is the standard 78 degrees view. Uh, with this wider, it goes to 135. And I, you can see the difference. From the same location, how much more it could capture. So this is... Uh, actually really interesting. So here are some sample shots that I shot with the LG G5 during the last couple of days. And as you can see, the picture quality is really good with the rear facing camera. Now this was shot with the regular camera and this is with the wide vision. One more example, normal with the 16 megapixel and this one with the wide vision. Normal and again wide. As you can see, the wide captures a lot of picture. And this is with the front facing camera. Again, make sure you tone down the beauty options. And these are some close-up macro shots and it does a good job for macro shots in my opinion. Also, it has a lot of detail as you can see in this picture. Let me actually zoom in and here also we don't lose any detail. We also have the pop-out picture which uses both the lens to get this effect. So guys, that's it for now for this unboxing and first look at this LG G5. I have been using this device now for five days and I'll soon be posting my FAQ video. So if you have any particular questions about this device, do post them in the YouTube comments below and I'll try to include them in my uh, review. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.